speaking of, you know, we just spent 30 minutes talking about Nickelodeon, Disney. Um, speaking of our childhoods. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys, uh, what is something, is Yvonne on here? Yeah, I believe so. I think okay. it's paused out. Okay, whatever. We'll keep yeah. on. Yeah. What is something I am here. that okay <laughs> he's like just a had voice. To make sure. Um, what is something that would heal your inner child right now? Oh wow, that is can you give us some more context around this? I think this Okay, is so for me, I'll start and then while you guys like think. Yeah. So for me, um I I was thinking about this because I don't know. I had like a moment. And so something that would heal my inner child and that I would make sure I do. This is like something you can do with your life now moving forward just to, you know, get some more closure or whatever, whatever the definition is. So for me, it would be to make sure I have a really big family. Um, that is something that like I never had, like all these family parties and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, when I see Savon, you, like Savon can have like a graduation party and there's like 50 cousins there. I no never bullshit. had that. No bullshit. Yeah. Um, and I know you, Alex, like you have like, it's just you and your mom. I know you have mm-hmm. like your aunts and stuff, but like, I never mm-hmm. had that. Like on Christmas, it's just me. I'm a big family girl, but like mm-hmm. it's my parents, me, my brother, and my sister. Like that's it. Like that's what I mean by my family. Super. And immediate. so. I just never had like all these relatives around. Like yeah, I yeah. know a big part of it has to do with um like everybody living in Korea still. I know that's mm-hmm. a big part of it. Mm-hmm. But also I think I also didn't do the best job at like keeping in contact with them. I don't know why. I in therapy I'll talk about this one day, but like I don't right. know why I just I don't know. It's, I'm like not a great so. I'm not a great distant family member, but the way I can heal that is like when I have kids, I want mad kids. I want like four kids. I want a big like I want them to have good relationships with their cousins, with their aunts, and I'm like I feel like I could do that, and then that will that will do something for me. You know? <laughs> that really turn it around, kind of. And you get yeah. to see um your boyfriend's family, right? Is it sort of big? It is. I guess that's why that yeah. had a lot to do with it as well because he's Haitian. Like right, he's like right. I didn't know this before I like met him. I knew him. I knew of him, but I didn't realize he was like Haitian. Haitian. Like, very like. <laughs> Are you like, sure he, he was speak- front? No, no, no. Like I just he just never talked about it. But then mm. once I got to know him, I'm like, oh my god, you're like. You, he speaks Creole, like he's like, oh yeah. And so, um, he he has family parties. Like his mom is the one that like does the decorations and in the backyard and stuff. And I've been to family parties where like I'm like the one Asian person there, but it's like fifty like Haitians there. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> I've never had that. <laughs> like, yo, why, why and when you... I was lit, like when I definitely had a moment. This was like last year yeah. when I was lit. I was like, oh my god, like <laughs> thank you for accepting me. <laughs> I, all I ever wanted was a family. Yes, like oh my god, I'm out of focus. But um, but yeah, like it would definitely. I know in the future yeah. when I have uh, a a child and like I could see that I could finally throw family parties for us. Right. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna do something for me. Oh my oh. god, I never really assumed that out of you. That makes so much sense. But because you're right, we have immigrant uh, families, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, I could kind of relate to this just a little bit because I do have a plethora of family back home. Mm-hmm. But as well, like you know, my mother grew up in polygamy. So she grew up in a super big family, but I feel like she still kind of feels not lonely in a sense, but everyone has their separate lives. Right? Are they, are they scattered? All are they across here? The world. Scattered okay. all across. You might have a couple dozen in Dallas. You might have some in Cali. You might have some in Georgia. Mm-hmm. You might have some in New York. You might have some in New Jersey. It's all super split up. So to your point, if, even though I have a very big family, it never really feels like that. Mm-hmm. Like right now, my family's at, um, a family reunion right now in Florida. I'm here. I couldn't take off for work. We're, <gasps> we're doing what we have to do. But everyone's not there. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So even it was like it's even like a half and half thing. So to your point, I could I could see where you're coming from. I could see but like, you. do you care about that? Like, are you kind of like whatever about your distant family? Because me, it does it doesn't bother me. I'm very happy with. This is a great. I have a great relationship with my parents and my siblings. Like they're my thing. world. Yeah. So I'm like it doesn't like bother me. But I definitely think about like damn like this is a great I'm like I'm not good relative this is a great but do, do you care at all like or are you like whatever so i feel like one of these patreon episodes Savon had access do we enjoy being the celeb of our friend groups and i truly didn't relate to him or but no i think it was a breadwinner <laughs> I don't and know. Yeah. it was something like that i didn't mm-hmm. i didn't really relate to it personally because man i i know some people who you might look at on the street and think they have fifty dollars in their pocket they have a hundred thousand mm-hmm. so but in this one instance with when it comes to family it's weird what the podcast has done in my life, personally. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Savon's family. family? 
Yeah. Explain yeah. that. Yeah. It's Explain so that. weird. Say, see, say Vaughn's fame is a little bit different. They're very much engaged. They are involved. Leo, there's They're three involved, of them working for us. Working like, for us. You feel what I'm saying? No, and he has a section at the yes. mix. No, like I them. hope you heard. I hope you heard like what I was saying, <laughs> Savon, while you were gone. Like yeah, I did. He, I he like yes. has a section at our mixer for his family. Like Late. and I never had that. Like I never Late. had like Late. I, I, it's my parents and my siblings. Like I don't have family. Like it's crazy. <laughs> don't say like that. you got family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so different. Like I don't yeah. know. Like it's just so just him. They're involved with the pod. My parents right. don't know what a podcast is. Like so. Yo, real spill. And I guess for me personally, it's it's family members who I don't see a lot, who I think are trying to learn me through all of this shit, or maybe have a different perception of me in their head. And it's just weird. Wait, do they listen? <laughs> I do, I think they silently listen. I think they're a silent listener. And your fa- I wait, think like who like your cousins? All of them, cousins, uncle, and I feel like I'm the celebrity oh. family, but I don't embrace it at all because mm. I don't like being the center of attention. I'm like, yeah, it's like, what are you? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! We're family. Chill out. Don't look at me yeah. like that. So yeah, th- definitely in the last two years, it's felt like that. So even right now, like they're at a family union. I'm like, I'm here. It's cool, though. I hope they have a good time, though. Reggie, <laughs> one of the things I heard you say um, when I had to walk away, what you said you wanted, like, four kids? Three to four kids? You want a big uh, family. I don't know if you guys know this, but every time us potting together for, like, I don't know, like, three years now, every time yeah. we talk about, like, goals, yeah. I don't go to, like, the money, the fame, or, yeah. like, riches, or my career, honestly. Like, I always say I want a big, beautiful family. I want healthy kids and a marriage. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that I always say Fire. that because that's all that matters to me. Like, I want a big family. I can't wait to be a mom. Like, yeah. I don't, I just, like, that is what matters to me, like, in life. Yeah. So, yeah, I want, like, I mean, God willing, I don't know. Having kids is not easy, but like, I want like a bunch of kids. Yeah. That's oh fine. shit! I, I don't think I ever knew you wanted a bunch. I knew you wanted. Yeah, a I think she bunch. mentioned it before. I think she, she might have. I didn't know before. four because again, me growing up with a lot of family, yeah. I know what, what it's like. Four what it's like, kids yeah. and five kids. Yeah. So I grew up. But us, the we're through the same house. It was a little bit different. So mm-hmm. us, yeah, we're yeah. already in my in my family. We're already three. Yeah. So it's like I mean, might as well add a little baby. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Might I, I mean, maybe uh, th- three is you know ideal. God, I know you're listening. Three will be perfect, but I don't yeah. know. Yeah, um, that's fine. That's a great question, by the way. Uh, yeah. What would heal your inner child? And it doesn't have to be dramatic. Like you could say something it's silly, dramatic. like you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I just want to be honest, whether it's silly or not. I think yeah. honesty is like the most important thing. Um, 